Welcome back to Keto Riffy Journey with Mike. I'm Mike, Reformed Fat Man. Well, you made chicken, chicken breast, and you got some leftover chicken. And you wondered, what am I going to do with this chicken? Because I don't want to have this, the chicken breast because it gets dry when I cook it again. Well, there's a way of keeping it moist. And I'm going to show you how you do it. So stick around and watch because it's going to be really good. So I've got myself a cheese sauce going here, a queso blanco, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, I want basically white cheese. And um, I got my chicken diced up, you can see. Shredded and cut up good, so it'll, it'll be just fine. And I've got some cauliflower rice that I'm going to add to it. So. Can you figure out what we're making? We're making a casserole. And it is a cheesy chicken cauliflower rice casserole or cheesy chicken and rice casserole, whatever way you want to look at it. Doesn't matter. And it's a uh, way of getting rid of that leftover chicken real easy mix this together here and season it up some oops and the rice cauliflower uh, if you've watched my videos you know I use frozen uh, I have tore my hands up on a grater more times than I can count grating my own I can buy it really cheap at Aldi and I get the frozen because it's it continues uh, to last for me. I don't have to worry about it going bad, and it works real well. Let's see, I got some Mikey mix here. Which is salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder that I have mixed myself. Let me mix this together. making a mess. Well, I got dogs that'll clean this mess up. Yeah. That chicken grew, uh, that chicken and rice that grew legs, it decided it wanted to jump. It thought it was a frog. I'm just gonna use this same one here to stir this up with. Nothing wrong with that, because it's going right in this pot here, or ball, for lack of a better word. All right, let's pour this in here and get it mixed up. Yep, my boys is already working on it. They got that mess. They are Johnny on the spot, so all is good. The mess will be clean before my wife gets to the house <laughs> and can get mad at me. She won't get mad. She just, like, boy, you make a mess, and she'd be right. Now, as this cools, it will thicken and because cheese does that and it's basically a cheese sauce and cheese will thicken so it may look a little loose now but it will thicken up nicely later let's get a spoon and give it a taste because you taste the food and see how it goes That's good. That's good. I think I want just a touch more salt. Not all the Mikey mix, just a touch of salt. Now 
now he's saying, wow, that's a lot of casserole you're going to make. We'll eat more than one meal. So when I bring you back, I'll have it in a pan for you. So there you have the finished product bubbling up nicely you can still see the bubbling it just came out of the oven uh, and and we got a little bit of uh, browning on the cheese which is what I wanted I didn't have to add any temperature to it this ended up cooking for 35 minutes at 475 so I hope you'll give it a try uh, until then this is Mike at Keto Refugee Journey saying Let's be careful out there.